Hello everyone. Today's tutorial in this chapter we are going to talk about one of the very important concept of C language is called data type. The data type if you are already know the C language that to declare any variable we need to use the proper data type for that variable. It may be a string it may be a character, it may be integer or double float, any kind of thing. But when it comes to embedded C, what is exactly the way you should think or define your data type? Now let's look into it. In embedded C, there are similar kind of data types are available, which is in the standard C language. We can define our character, we can define our integer, we can define our any string also. Now, if we are talking, the most important thing it's coming in the embedded systems that the usage of the signed or unsigned of the variable. Signed or unsigned actually defines that if the variable is going to hold positive value or only negative, positive or negative value together. So if you declare one variable as a signed, that means that this variable can be hold the value of negative range to the positive range. Like for a 8-bit eight, eight variable, it can hold a value of minus 128 to plus 127. But if you declare that variable as a unsigned, so that compiler will treat as such that it will only hold the positive value. If you give it it any negative value it will holds 0 so but why it is important in embedded let's look into it because in embedded while we are writing any code we have to think of the optimization of the code at the first time that for example if you are making a loop for loop or while loop and making any counter now it is very important to understand that the value of the counter cannot be never be negative. It will be always, always in positive, right? So the variable we should def declare for an loop should be in a positive value. For example, if we are declaring one variable which is going to hold the time value, the time cannot be negative any time, isn't it? So that to declare one variable, we need to declare it as a unsigned. Also, so this will help the value will be more range in this system. So instead of holding 127 value, it will hold a 255 or 256 values in one single variable. Now let's to use that kind of variable, you can declare it as a signed or unsigned as a there are some macros which has been defined in the embedded c like event 8 underscore t it is a type defined already defined in stdint.h or you can also define that event 8 underscore t as a unsigned integer variable the same way you can declare your 16 bit 32 bit or 64 bit variables together so let us look into more about unsigned data type the data type will always hold the positive values. The negatives are not be going to be allowed to store in the data type. It can be any data type, maybe integer character sort can be used as an unsigned data type. But if you look here, in embedded system, we are not talking about creating floating or low, long value or the double value. Because the floating is an available data type in a standard C compiler, but in embedded C, where we need to perform some operation as a time bound method or as a space bound method, so most of the microcontroller or microprocessor don't have floating point mathematics support in the hardware. So, to support that kind of floating point operation, the C runtime or the software has to make that rule to support that floating point addition deletion kind of thing 
but on a 8 bit architecture on a small small microcontroller where we need to do very basic algorithm or counting over the some sensor or some temperature reading the floating math takes too much long time value for that it also occupied extra space which we, while we are creating the seed runtime of that for that so it adds extra additional overhead during the runtime so we need to create our algorithm such a way so that we can avoid the floating point or long in the embedded seed we all know that character which is used in the c language is hold is a 8 bit 8 bit data type it is basically basically defined as a unsigned sort in the embedded c so any variable to hold any character because the ascii value is in the range of 0 to 256 so it can hold any value now if we are talking some important points about using the data type there are some important points i think we should remember so while writing code you must check the processor or the mcu architecture bit size before writing or declaring any variable for example if you are having a 8 bit architecture so it will not support the 16 bit variable even if you using the 16 bit variable it the processor will be ca capable of using only 8 bit of that variable so that you are trying to use more than the 8 bit value it will not be usable in that processor or the code the same for the 16 bit or 32 bit also also check that what is the endianness of the of the microcontroller suppose there are two kind of endianness available right which is big endian or little endian so if you are declaring one variable in a 8 bit architecture and you are declaring the variable as 16 bit so that and the processor is little endian so the processor will always take the 0 to 7th bit directly from the variable and it will ignore that 8 to 15 bit from that variable so if there is any value they will be ignored during the computation so you will get error during that time also you need to check that if you need to use the floating value or not like we discussed earlier also check that if the outbound outbound check is one of the very important thing for example if the counter if you are using a counter and it, you are using 8 bit architecture so that in the 8 bit architecture you will be always able to count 0 to 255 only after that it will come back to 0 and recount again so always whenever you are declaring one variable you put a check that if condition that if the value is getting out of the out of bound of the size of the variable so it should do some error handling operation in that way you can avoid runtime or runtime errors from that code and you can avoid the field errors from that code so in this tutorial we have found that what is the data type of the c language